Okay. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. Because this question has been pinging around in my brain for the whole last week and I just can't get it to come out in any sort of coherent way but I'll try because I had a moment of clarity earlier today <laughs> and then uh, I had to leave and I wasn't able to tape and blah 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 so anyway um, this one's about love And um, I'm in conflict <laughs> with this question, and so um, I actually did some reading to try and clear my heart and my thoughts so that I could ask it in um, a sensible way. And, um, okay, I'll try and stay on camera as I'm reaching for my glasses as I'm, and as I am reaching for the book. It's a Thomas Merton book. It fell off the shelf. And um, it's called um, Choosing to Love the World, which is something I'm still deciding on. <laughs> But anyway, now I love the world. I'm just <laughs> not sure if I choose to stay in the world. <laughs> anyway, um, and I, it just fell open to this page, and I was like, yeah, bingo. Okay, so, my Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end nor do I really know myself and the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I'm actually doing so but I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you and I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire and I know, I know, that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may, not, may know nothing about it. Therefore, I will trust you, always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. <laughs> so, uh, am I still on camera? My question, am I still focused? Is, oh, my hands are getting tired. Is true, true love the highest form of human love is it worth engaging in perhaps even the worst behavior um, I, I have a sense of what my answer is to that and um, Thomas Merton's words that I just read let me know that in everything I do if I am trying to be pleasing to my higher power who is my source and who is the highest love unimaginable then I'm at least being I'm at least steering myself in the right direction and that's where the guidance will come so my answer is that 
only with the highest behavior can a human being reach the very, very highest form of love that our heredity and our heritage and our capacity as spiritual human beings can reach only through the highest level of behavior can we have any chance of reaching what is absolutely an unimaginable level of the highest form of love and uh, that's my answer <laughs> from what comes to me uh, and that's a kind thing because everybody's highest level of behavior is different according to their own knowing and according to their own experience but the common thread is that it's going to be hard <laughs> to um, constantly be reaching for the highest level of behavior and so that's the key to knowing whether that's what you're actually doing it should be scary and hurt a bit but the rewards will be unimaginable we are promised that we have been promised that that is our covenant with God I, I think I hope <laughs> I like a good high <laughs> I haven't known many in my life and I haven't known many artificial ones that's for sure so the ones I have known have been natural <laughs> and I continue to um, look forward to more of that the same so thank you for your time and um, have a good week and Hey, I think I stayed in frame. <laughs> Reach for the stars. Someone once wrote that to me. <laughs> Reach for beyond the stars, actually. Way beyond. They're pointing in the right direction. But look beyond them. Good night. Sleep tight. Ah. Uh -huh.